Good afternoon. Uh, the uh, court's going to take up the next case that it has on its docket, C200050 CPS. This is in the interest of Joe Angel Del Real, Michaela Castaneda, Nathaniel De Arruda, Galena Del Ria, Real, Xavier Del Real, Catalina Perez, and Cano uh, Del Real. Uh, the case is set for a bench trial today. The hearing is being conducted pursuant to emergency orders of the Texas Supreme Court via Zoom video conference. Participating in the uh, trial today on behalf of the department is caseworker Cruz Cerna, Supervisor Shauna Smith, and Regional Attorney Deborah Keenum. The uh, mother of the uh, children is Amanda Villarreal, and she is participating in the hearing today along with her attorney of record, uh, Gonzalo Rios. The uh, father of the child, Nathaniel, is Mark Theodore de Arruda, who is personally served with citation notice to suit in this case. He is not present. The uh, court would take judicial notice of the court's file to the extent it previously granted a motion to withdraw filed by his attorney of record, Fred Brigman, which was not opposed by Mr. de Arruda and Mr. de Arruda was advised of his right to counsel, to retain counsel and right to request court appointed to counsel at that time. And no attorney purporting to represent him is in an appearance in the case on his behalf. And he's not filing a request for the court for a court appointed attorney. The uh, father of the child, Joel Angel, is Michael James Schaefer, who was personally served with citation notice suit on May 5th, 2020. Mr. Schaefer is not present in the courtroom. Uh, the alleged father of Michaela is Guillermo Saiz, who has been cited by publication through posting on April, August 24, 2020. He is not present. The court has appointed Tom Davidson as his attorney, and Mr. Davidson is present. Previously identified as the alleged father of the child, Kalina, was Timothy, Timothy Martinez. Uh, paternity testing has ruled him out as the father, and he has been non suited from the case. The alleged father of the child, Xavier, is John Paul Fuentes, who was personally served on March 20, 30th, 2020. Mr. Fuentes is not currently participating in the hearing today. The uh, father of the child, Catalina and Cano, is uh, Saul Perez, who has uh, signed a waiver of service uh, on April 14, 2020, that's on file with the court. Mr. Perez is not currently present in the courtroom. As to uh, Mr. Schaefer and uh, Mr. Fuentes and Mr. Perez, the court would take judicial notice of the court's file to the extent it reflects that none of them have filed any requests for a court-appointed attorney with the court and no attorney purporting to represent them as in an appearance in the case on their behalf. There's an unknown uh -huh. Excuse no, no. me, Judge. I'm John Paul's mom, and I'm the one that had Xavier and Nathaniel in my care for CPS. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. If you don't wouldn't mind inter not interrupting, I'll uh, let you have an opportunity in a moment. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. There's also an unknown father uh, cited by a publication to your posting as to the children, Michaela, Kalina, and Xavier. Um, the unknown father was cited by publication through posting on March 17, 2020. Uh, Tom Davidson is also appointed on behalf of that unknown father of those children. Ray Lifesty is the attorney and guardian ad litem for the uh, children, and Mr. Lifesty is present in the courtroom. The uh, children are excused uh, from participating in the hearing today. As uh, noted earlier, I believe uh, Mr. Uh, Fuente's mother is uh, present in the courtroom. All right. Um, as in other words, up for a trial today, uh, Ms. Uh, Kingham, is the department ready to proceed with a trial today? Your Honor, uh, I'm not. Uh, sure what's going on right now with um, e-file. We have filed a motion in order to dismiss this matter. Uh, we believe that the mother has sufficiently, um, it was filed about 1.30 this afternoon. Um, I do show e-service on it, but I'm not showing that it's 
it, it's not showing actually in um, in the system. But, but we are asking to dismiss the case. The mother has successfully completed the monitored return. Uh, there are prior orders uh, that we believe in some of the instances and in speaking with her attorney, we believe that she has all the tools necessary necessary to protect the children and should she need any child support on any of the other children she will seek that um, on a separate matter and we believe that would be appropriate in this circumstance okay well the courts uh, check the online uh, file that's with the court there's not a motion filed at this point as reflected there but uh, uh, they typically have to once those are e-filed they have to do a separate step to get it actually into the system as i understand it. so it's probably at that stage at this point but in any event my understanding is the department is seeking to dismiss this action as to all the children that are the subject of the suit is that right yes your honor okay uh mr rios uh does your client have any objection to a dismissal no, Your Honor, we've discussed it as she's in agreement. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Davidson, do you have any objection? No objection, Your Honor. And Mr. Lopez, any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right. Uh, the court does not find any other pleadings to be on file with the court that would preclude or require the case to continue if the department uh, non suits its case. So the court will uh, grant the motion to dismiss filed by the department. Uh, in my understanding, the children currently remain in the care of the mother, uh, Ms. Del Real, and so they remain there subject to any existing uh, court orders that may exist as to those children. Ms. Del Real, I, I wish you and your children the best of luck. Uh, with that, uh, I'll discharge the attorney at items who are appointed in the case and the department is discharged as uh, the temporary managing conservator of the children. Thank you. Okay.